Hey, buongiorno. So on Thursday, I had my first of two fresco painting classes. And a big reason why I wanted to come here and do this residency in the first place was for this workshop alone. I really wanted to learn this technique. And if you're not sure of what a fresco is or what it means, a fresco is a technique of mural painting that's executed on freshly laid wet plaster. In Italian, a fresco actually means fresh. It's sort of the whole nature of the technique. This is Emanuele, uh, our instructor from Florence, and Daniela is with us. She's actually from Germany. So the process of fresco painting is actually quite lengthy, and we're jumping right in the middle of it here, uh, applying the plaster to ceramic tile. You can apply the plaster to ceramic tile or brick, I believe. And it's extremely important that the application process and the mixing of everything is done very particularly. Um, the mix, the plaster itself, is normally river sand and a high calcium lime putty. I think you can change the ingredients ever so slightly, but it has to be exact for it to work in the, in the long run. So smoothing out and flattening the plaster is the final step or the intonaco is done with about three different tools. It's a little awkward at first, but after a learning curve and of course practice, we are ready for our next step, which is creating our cartoon. So a lot like tattooing, I take a tracing of the image I want to make in my fresco and trace out all the lines for correct proportions that I'll then go back over and punch holes along the lines. Here you can make more, more distance. More, oh, Here yeah, is yeah. enough like More this. tight, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a part of the transfer process that you'll see here in just a second. Uh, but before, I have to sand the back of the tracing paper because the holes punched through and raised the paper, which would make indentions in the plaster and that wouldn't look good. So I'm making it smooth right before I lay my tracing paper right on top of the plaster. Okay. And Manuela is showing me how to take pigment and sort of powder or dust it through those holes so that it sticks to the sort of damp plaster. You use the right hand? Yeah. It might be sort of hard to see, but there's just a faint outline of little tiny dots that I then begin to use as a guideline for my painting. The process from the very beginning to the very end is heavily reliant on following an order from simple lines to complex shading. We have about two hours to reach a final product and here is my first fresco.
The next day on Friday, it was just me and Emanuele. Uh, Daniela had to leave later that evening. That first image was, of course, a Michelangelo, which is Emanuele's sort of go-to for beginners. Uh, but the next day, I got to choose whatever image I wanted to, and for the rest of my stay here, I'll be focusing on making art from my photography. I recently had a shoot with Chesley Antoinette, a Dallas-based sculptor who is having a show actually next month at the South Dallas Cultural Center, a show that I shot that features very ornate head wraps. My second and of course favorite fresco painting is complete. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.